Hello, good afternoon. This is David Sutter talking to you. And uh, today I'd like to talk to you about something that a lot of my students have been asking me about. And that is how to create multiple instances of the MetaTrader platform. Okay. And um, by this, I mean, let's say, for example, you want to run my Ultimate EA on both a live account and a demo account at the same time. All right. How do you do that? Because normally you would have to log out of one account and then log into the other and that could uh, disrupt the EA while you're running it okay <clears throat> and if you want to test it on two different accounts at the same time you have to create multiple instances okay and by this I mean uh, let's look down here on the bottom here okay I have two instances right here of MetaTrader 4 all right now I'm running one account this is for like my trade copy service my signal service all right and I monitor this constantly, so I don't want to have to disrupt this or you know interfere with this at all. And then I'll have another instance working around here where I'm testing new strategies, new indicators, new EAs, etc. And I want to be able to look at the results and see what's going on in this window and without having to interfere with my other platform. Okay, this way I create two different instances. Okay, now how you do this is you have to reinstall the MetaTrader software, but install it to a different directory, okay? Now, all you do is take the installation file that you received with your broker, and for this example, I'm just using Trader's Way. I have IC Markets as well, and the installation is the exact same, so it doesn't matter what broker you use, but go ahead and uh, open the installation file, and I'll actually click yes here, and um, then click yes here also, and then uh, click settings and then next this is very important um, go to the end right here and put like um, underscore two this way you know it's the second installation now I've already done two installations so actually I'm gonna put three all right and do the same thing here underscore three and then I'm gonna uncheck this box here because I do not want the MQL5 website to load click next and it's going to download the installation files and it's also going to place another icon on the desktop um, for the new installation okay and you see the icon pop up right here and what I like to do is right click on this and then click rename okay if you go down here click rename uh, you can uh, just add the underscore three to the end of this this way you know this is the third installation as well okay and ask you to continue <clears throat> and then it's going to load your new installation of uh, MetaTrader and then once it loads okay then you can right click on hit taskbar here and just pin it to your taskbar okay <clears throat> that way you know this is one two three keep them in order okay <clears throat> so here you go I have my third installation up and running now now if I want to load any other EAs or any other indicators that I want to test I can and I don't have to disrupt uh, something else I might be working on okay so I hope this has helped you a little bit uh, if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me on Facebook there's a link below in the description that goes to my private Facebook and also if you have not joined my Facebook group uh, I invite you to please join my Facebook group there is a link in the description as well for that. And um, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to post any questions or comments in my Facebook group. And um, me or another teammate would be happy to help you, okay? Thank you and have a wonderful day.